Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we are making uh, Bahraini Iranian Tikka. اليوم احنا بنسوي بحريني تكة وإيرانية على شو اسمه إيرانية وش نحتاج نحتاج لحم بيف بقر مقطع قطع صغيرة only we need beef diced small cut and we need also fresh lemon نحتاج إلى لومي طازج ولومي أسود and the black lime and we need some oil to moisturize it نحتاج إلى oil عشان ينعم شوي وبعدين آخر شيء نحط الملح and the last we put milk I'm going to show you now how we do Bahraini Tikka by marinations and starting to, uh, to put it in skewers you need also these skewers very important because it's, if you put it in a white square flat you cannot get this piece of meat so you need the, the round one لما احنا نستعمل الصيخ العريض اللحم ما يدخل فيه نحتاج الصيخ البغيض عشان ندش اللحم فيه وصل ببساطة عشان الشوي Now ladies and gentlemen I'll show you how to marinate the beef after all I show you all the ingredients الحين براويكم شلون تسوون البيف الناقعة في اللوم الأسود I will start with the beef. This is the beef. I don't need to tell you how much you need. Maybe half a kilo, half a kilo lamb. Put the beef first. Then the lime. Don't cut the lime wide. And the black lime. We don't have to put a lot of black lime because it will make it so black. So what we do? We just punch off black lime over half a kilo's beef. But punch it away, which way? Then we do. نجيب الملح ونحط الملح فوقه عشان يعطي مارينيشنز بعدين ناخذ اللوميه نعصر على اللوميه لوميه واحده نص لوميه هاف لايم ليمون سوري اند ذن يو اد ذا اويل تو ميك ات مويسترايز نحط الاويل عشان يسوي مويسترايز وبسيط عشان ينقلي وي بوت ذا اويل تو ميك ات مويسترز اند ايزي تو تو جريل اوكي Then what we do, we just mixing it slowly, slowly, slowly. If you see the beef is not uh, colorful, you know, like as we expected, you add a little bit more because it's always the lime next to you and you have extra. So this is the right color for beef Iranian Bahraini Tikka. That's what we need. I don't want to put too much salt. And some people, they don't like salty and some people that... And also the lime is very uh, strong in acids. Uh, you marinate it for 24 hours. And now it's about 24 hours. But if you put it 24 hours, it'll be better. But if you marinate it for uh, six or five hours, it will be nice, but it doesn't taste like uh, 24 hours. So I'll show you, it's been marinated now. So what you do after the marination, only what you do, you just start to put the skewers. Some people prefer onions in between or fat. But at the moment we don't use fat because this is low fat tikka. So we put one, two, three, about 12 or 15. Depends how much you want, it's up to your uh, quantity and your portion. So when you put the three, you put the fat in between. Why? Because when you put it in over the charcoals, it make it it make flavor for it. So what we do because we don't have fat, and some people also they put onions in between, you know, like uh, little wedges onions. So we keep just put put uh, beef inside the skewers, and you have to cut it very small because if you cut it big big pieces. It's not thick, it should be cut this size. Should be cut this size, very, very small. Okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we already uh, marinated the thick. Say that you said that you have to marinate the thick. And now we are showing you this is the low fat thick, and this is the fat thick. You can see the, the fat in between. تقدر تشوف الشحم ما بين اللحم ليش حطينا شحم ما بين اللحم عشان يعطي طعم ويعطي فليفر في ناس يحبونه في ناس ما يحبون there is some people they like a fat between the meat you know when you go to a place and you order some thick 
that there is no fat, they will retain it back. So always have fat. Iranian tikka, they must have a fat in between each three or four or five, it depends on you want. This is the low fat, which is it's only beef in it. Hi, but the hamburger is بدون شحن. Yeah, this is a Bahraini tikka has already been cooked, uh, but preferably to cook uh, Bahraini tikka on a charcoal because the charcoal gives it good flavors and it doesn't uh, burn it that quick and it's uh, it's really really good, you know, but uh, if it's cooked and eat straight away and we have a salad also next to it, preferably a rocket which is jarjir or uh, bagel with bagel also and lemon and white uh, onions preferably and Bahraini khubas, not Lebanese, Bahraini khubas goes with the tikka Sayyid Ajdal Saadati when we made the Bahraini tikka and we made it on the fahim the best thing is to make it on the fahim because if you put it on the grill, it's not good and you prefer to make it with the bagel and the bagel which is the rocket and the lumi and the salabi and the best thing is to make it Bahraini and in the kitchen, you can take about 5 minutes to 6 minutes on the fahim and try to put it on the bank so you can put it on the bank and do it on the bank. Thank you.